Well, this is day two with our HTC Desire S, and as you can see, I've got a problem at the minute. On the top right of the phone, I have got no signal. And that is because at the back, I have taken off this rear panel here. This rear panel sits down there and covers all of this stuff up. This flap here holds the battery in and also covers up the SIM card and the micro SD card. The battery is here and slots in to the bottom panel like that and that pushes down and sort of holds it into place. This is your antenna as you can see. Uh, aerial antenna whatever you want to call it. We've seen this in other designs um, the, the HTC Legend I believe we saw it in, in that as well and it, we've got uh, the, the strong um, design here it's one piece of metal and so this is really your only access into the phone at the bottom here so we put that back on turn on the phone and we should have a signal as you can see can you see there if i just get this to focus come on phone we know you can focus if i try and get this to focus i don't know whether you could just see but it still has a little tiny bit of a chin obviously i just need to press this in properly still got a bit of a chin so that uh, old HTC Hero design is still there slightly and the chin or a lip on the bottom of the phone. As I showed you on the previous video here we've got the volume up, volume down and the micro USB connector there on the top 3.5mm um, headphone adapter slash headset. There we go, focus better. And the power on the top and then we have we have a signal now which is good as you can see I've got a signal and that is because I've got the um, battery panel on there so we should get a data connection in a moment at uh, the front here we've got the uh, earpiece and uh, the front facing camera which means I can do stuff like um, let me just uh, sort this one out a moment I can do cool stuff like turning on the phone and going down to mirror an application called mirror there we go and in theory you should see you can see the top of the car and we can do cool stuff like there we go so you can see the front facing camera there operating like a mirror so here we are it's a front screen and what we can see is these soft keys down the bottom are present. They've got home, got that one for menu, it pops up the menu, got the back key, got a search key, fires up Google search or whatever search, um, depends on what application you're using. But also, you notice there's no more um, optical trackpad. So what that means is, is if I go into Android Market here, and I'll wait for that to fire up. I'll just give it a few seconds just to decide whether it's going to connect to the internet. It means that if I'm typing text and I want to edit in the middle part of a word, usually I would use the trackpad down the bottom on the old HTC Desire, which is over here. I'm quite used to using the trackpad on that phone to glide around and uh, edit text. Now on the new version we don't have that trackpad so you have to do some slightly different things. Let me just show you how that works if we can get a data connection. I think a lot of people will be used to seeing that. I don't know why but in Android market we tend to get these network errors quite a lot. It's annoying but um, let's open up my email and Let's have a look at this email here. Now, there we go. If I want to reply to this email, and I can type in, da -da -da -da. now let's say I've made a mistake and I've just kind of typed that in by mistake. Oh dear. Now, if I want to get to the middle of that word, I kind of press and hold on the word, and you can see that I have a magnifying glass sort of effect. And I can see what's underneath my thumb, which is really good and kind of replaces that optical trackpad. 
it means that I can move that cursor to the exact point in the word that I want and then continue editing. I can select the word, I can select all, I can do copy and paste obviously and um, I can amend that word as I see fit. So that's a really cool little um, extra there. Obviously this is the latest version of uh, Android, this is actually Android 2.3.3 I believe. Here's some of the apps that are included on here. We've got SoundHound, which will um, identify music that's playing in the background, uh, just like Shazam. Uh, we have uh, Stocks and Shares. We've got Google Talk, which will keep you in touch with your friends. We've got good old Tita, which a lot of you will be familiar with from our videos. It uses a tilt sensor on the phone, so you can play a game. No good if you're on a moving train, obviously, but you've got to tilt it round and move that ball round. You know that by now. Um, and that's a very addictive little game that is and um, we'll go into uh, reader we'll open up reader and this is a book reader so if you want to read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland while you're on the move you can do have a read of a book fantastic um, places quick look up settings open office for editing documents on the go uh, you can open files and edit them we have got, let's scroll down here, you see how the pages are divided now by, you can't just scroll down one, you see the top page, bottom page, scroll up a bit, bang, scroll down a bit, bang, so we've got one page at the top, second page at the bottom. We've also got HTC Hub, which connects you in with the online portal, HTC Hub portal, so you can find your phone if you get it lost and uh, locate it. Um, I'm not having much luck with the data connection at the moment, so I'll have to sort that out for the next video. But um, the HTC Hub will let you download applications and um, new ringtones and backdrops that may interest you, that HTC are working on or have uh, created. Uh, what else have we got? HTC Likes, similar sort of thing. And Maps, which of course is fantastic. And the Navigation, which I used yesterday to get me to London and back. Uh, and there's just loads more. Now, I'm going to save a bit more for the next video because uh, I need to get this data connection sorted out. But that's day two of our week with HTC Desire S. Do let me know if you've got any questions. We've only got this for a week. So you've got to be quick. And keep checking CoolSmartphone.com for more information.